All right, so this. All right, all right. Good morning and good evening, everyone. In this video, we're going to continue our timer and playing with time in Angular. So in this video, we'll play with um, ng bootstrap time picker here. So we have a time picker here. Um, okay, what's that? How do we use this? Okay, so oh, we have our reactive form here. Uh, we'll set up our our form first. Form form builder. Okay, and this is going to be um, arrival form, and this is going to be the form form group. So we're going to set it as null first, and we're going to then initialize it with the form builder group so arrival here and this is going to be a null first and um, we're going to have a validation of validators as required okay so arrival time arrival time oh so we have to set the date here arrival date it's going to be null validators required <coughs> okay and then we're going to set here create and um, we're going to check if it's valid so if valid then that's the time that we're going to do something with our data and we're the time zone service we're going to inject our time zone service here all right so time zone service this is for our test it will create the payload Okay, we're going to put here the payload uh, console.log I think this is null and we're going to set the payload here sequels to arrival something like that and we're going to set the date there um, we're going to set the date uh, let arrival date is equals to new date and that date is going to be um, this one here the arrival date and the arrival time okay so okay so we're going to set the form here um form group was to what is the name of our form group here all right arrival form and we and we will ng if here okay and then we're going to set the arrival time and then the arrival date there here is going to be the class button success is the color and it's going to be a small so we're going to look for the component that would be the the date picker okay date picker we only need one 
um, examples okay so we only need this one that is going to be this but we have to first import our ngp date picker module is there a date picker module here yep there's a date picker module and we're going to use that one here and uh, the form control here is going to be uh, what's that navigate there I don't know what that is okay we can remove that then we're going to use this for the date here and the time here All right uh, let's check okay we have a date picker here it's going to be 25 and this one here is going to be 7 30 so unlike the prime ng p calendar where you can select the the date and the time on a single component I'm not sure if you can do that in ng bootstrap alright so we're then going to ng ngb timer we're going to check the value of our arrival form here so when we create up oh, we didn't put an on click we have to put on click here so the click we're just going to click oh no it's not doing it automatically all right so uh, we don't have to we're just going to call this create all right 25 7 30 p.m. All right. All right. So our value here would be this one and then the arrival time is this one. Can we add them directly? Uh I'm not sure. So let's handle this. Uh, so uh, hmm okay we'll try this one uh, date we have to put it on the JavaScript date uh, um, value that arrival date here all right. okay so let's remove this first then let arrival time um, is there any like constructor here for how to compose it value string okay we can okay a uh, year how do we set it can we add just add it directly uh, uh, value okay yeah um Okay, we think we can just um, this one here put it on let D like that so that it will be very easy for us and then this is the T A so that uh, we can just Put the arrival date here, arrival date, and 
time here to uh, where is it again? Year, month, year, month, and day. Year, month, and day. So that is here. Year, month, and date. Okay, so first is D that year, D that month, D that day, and then the other one is going to be R minute second. So D that R, D that minute, D that second. Second or seconds? Second, right. So that is the arrival date, and we're going to say here arrival like that. And how do we handle that in um, C sharp? How does it look like? Go to the core and tester. Yep, arrival. This is going to be capital. Okay, cool. So let's try this. Uh, let's refresh. We say 25th of July and then 7 30 p.m. when we create this. Uh, okay. Let's look at the wire here, the network. So it goes to the wire and why is it null here? Why is the payload null? Create. Why is it null? Is it null? Is it really null? Okay, let's do this again. Payload invalid date. Why is it invalid date? Month. Uh, was it because it's capital letters? Value year D that year month day hour minute that is supposed to be minute. Alright, so again. Okay, so 25th of July, 7.30 p.m. Watch here, we're, we're not using PrimeNG, we're using NG Bootstrap. Uh, did it went through, it went through. Um, okay, 11.30, yep, that's, that is correct, that is, but why is it now? Why is it eight? Suppose uh, this is July. And why is it eight twenty fifth? Hmm. Okay, let's put a breakpoint here. So see it. It's being handled differently on different libraries so let's try it here it's supposed to be um but why is it august here okay so we should do this month minus one i guess yeah should be month minus one so that is month minus one here okay so again so 25th of July 7 30 p.m. boom let's check the payload so July 25th it's 19 and that is 7 30 and that is what it's going to save here okay so this is um, UTC this is 11 so that is correct because when we when we load the tester now 
this one this is the one that we just created uh, using ng bootstrap and it's correct at 730 and if we change this to oh, change to Tokyo that is going to change as well to Tokyo time which is going to be 830 p.m. so that is correct nice okay so that is it um, okay so we're going to we're going to commit this CGVX wiki okay NGXB time zone is EC alright so this huh one two three four five one two three four yep that is great thanks bye